Okay, this is a skip sheeted tile roof here, which means if you lift these tiles up, and I'll show you this in a second, when you lift these tiles up, there's going to be no sheeting or felt paper under, under this roof. Uh, that was commonly applied years ago, like probably 20 years plus. Uh, it wasn't required that they have sheeting and felt. Now it is because they tend to be problematic. Uh, the, one of the things that we're looking for on these types of roofs is uh, blockage and debris in the, uh, in the valleys. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when I, when I say that there's debris in the valleys. It's not just what you see on top, it's what's, what's underneath. So let's open this up and have a look. Skip sheeted. See, it's wide open to the attic here. And this is the debris in the valleys and what happens is, is it dams up and overruns the valleys. We're really careful with these because when you get this damming like this, the water keeps running sideways and when it gets to blocking up the crimped edge here, uh, the water will just pour right into the attic. So on, on skip sheeted tiles we're really concerned with this as well as uh, uh, flat, flat, flat type tile, uh, the, uh, the smoother, flatter. Uh, tile is even more common even with the felt it, it'll leak through uh, It gets it, it bypasses and goes around the the metal flashing goes underneath even if it's on the felt And if there if there is a weakness in the felt it'll go through right there. We find that a lot uh, Also, if there isn't a weakness in the felt it will create one eventually with the dirt and the acid in the in the uh, dirt carried by the water so this is, uh, this is a, a good example of uh, what we're calling when we call uh, a valley clean out. We open the whole valley up just like I'm doing here. Get all the debris out, make sure the edges are nice and sharp here and turned upward. So as to keep the water from getting past this as best as possible, then we close it all back up. Yeah. I'm going to guess this roof's about 25 years old. There we go. 